Good morning, and welcome to the Underwood Baptist Church devotion for Wednesday, November 17th. I would imagine that most people agree that we live in a world that is full of trouble. If you talk to most people throughout the day for really any significant period of time, the conversation probably turns to some trouble that's going on in the world. Maybe what we can do about it, or maybe what we can't do about it. And of course, if you happen to watch the news or check social media or something like that, you're pretty much bombarded with trouble of what's going on in the world. And if you're not careful, even as a Christian, you can let that trouble and the worry that goes with it, the worry of trouble, consume you. Think for a second. When you went to sleep last night, were you thinking of some trouble you had faced during the day? Or when you woke up this morning... Did you find yourself thinking about a trouble you thought you were going to face today or maybe worried about the trouble that you didn't know that you would face today? Let's be realistic. Trouble exists. It is a fact of life here on earth. But as a Christian, we must remember we don't have to face it on our own. Let's look at Nahum 1.7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. It's a short verse. but This verse tells us three things that I think Christians should try to put at the forefront of our minds as we start and go throughout our day and as we deal with the trouble that's in the world around us. The first is a reminder. The Lord is good. No matter what else goes on, no matter how bad things get, God is still good. And God is still God for that matter. But God is still good. And because of that, he's still working for good for us. He's still working for good for his children. And he's going to keep his promises to us. The second thing is, the Lord is a stronghold in the day of trouble. God knows the trouble that, knows trouble's going to come because he knows all things. And because of that, he knows the exact trouble we're going to face. We worry sometimes about trouble because we don't know what we're going to face. We don't know what's going to happen, but God knows exactly what will happen, and he's prepared. He is our stronghold, our protection in times of trouble. He is the place we can flee to for shelter, and he can secure us as the storms of a troubled world batter us. He can protect us no matter what's going on, and he can withstand whatever the world or the devil may throw at us. The third thing It's kind of another comforting piece. He knoweth them that trust him. God does not forget those who trust in him. And he does not ignore us. No matter how big or small the trouble we might face is, first off, God is bigger, and he's foreseen it, he knows about it, and he's prepared it for us. But then no matter how crazy the world gets, God hasn't forgotten us. He knows right where we are, And he knows right where he wants us to be. And he's not going to take his eyes off us if we trust in him. And the encouraging thing here is there's not a single qualifier that says how big or small the trouble has to be for God to pay attention to us, for God to help us. He's going to help it through everything, big or small, especially since it's all big to us, but big or small. And all we have to do is trust in him. Now, conversely, if you look at some of these surrounding verses, you can see the plight of those who either stand against God or don't place their trust in him. Those who don't, those who stand against God, they can't hope to stand before him. They cannot abide his anger. They will be pursued by darkness and God will make an end to them. In other words, if you think things are bad in the world, as you're looking at it as a Christian, try standing against God or try standing without God and you would have more trouble than you can ever imagine. So the trouble around us is real, and unfortunately, it's not going anywhere. In fact, it will most likely trend towards getting worse, not better over time. But as the verse that I think we had in a a devotion a few months back says, our hope is in the Lord who made heaven and earth. We don't have to worry about those things. We need to remember that God is in control. He's still good no matter what's going on. He is our protection and strength in any time of trouble. And he will not forsake us if we trust in him. All of which should strengthen us to serve him, even in the times of trouble we're going to have to face and live in.
Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you that you have promised us that you're there for us, that you will protect us, and that you won't forget about us, Father. We know we'll have to deal with trouble. We'll know we'll have to deal with things that are hard. But we ask you to help us to remember that you're there for us and to remember to place our trust in you no matter how big or small the problem is and to turn to you for it first and as the best solution so that you can sustain us and bring us through it and you can protect us uh, from whatever's coming. We know you will. We know you'll fulfill your promise. We just ask you to help us to remember it and act on it. We'll thank you and praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for your time this morning. I hope this was a blessing to you. Please come back tomorrow for Brother Evan's devotion, and I'll be back next week. Goodbye.